Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We were, we were right here where we ended last time doing work, chores. Alright, that should do it. Finishing the repairs to the roof, I climb down the ladder. Okay, next is... Pat, who was pecking at the soil, had come closer to where I was going to put my feet as I climbed down. This is kind of besides the point, but ducks eat weeds and bugs, so it means that if I just leave him to it, he will maintain the garden. However, he will also peck at the flowers and so on too, so the person doing the gardening needs to watch out for that. What's up, Hat? Where's your buddy? I have no idea what he's saying, but he definitely looks bored. Sorry, but I've got work to do. When I get back, I'll give you a bath. The door to Katori's room was closed. I couldn't hear any sound, and there were no signs that she was awake. Still asleep, huh? Sleepyhead? Hey, Katori! Wake up, Alo! Hey, Miss Alo! <laughs> I'm going to do some shopping. Do you want to come with me? Her face seemed to say, if this was America and I sued you, you would lose. You're oversleeping. It's a nice sunny day, so let's go outside. It's shopping for the dormitory. You eat too, don't you? Seeing a gay half me give a great big wave, Tori makes an annoyed face. Hi, Agaha. Oh, 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 you? Wow, she's pretty gorgeous. In that, uh, that outfit. It's fine. There's something I need help with. I had planned from the beginning to meet up with Agaha. That's because I want her as a special advisor for today's work. Right, let's go. Go, go! We arrived at the underground street of the shopping mall. There are many stylish shops in the shopping arcade, and there is also a large supermarket. I push Katori along in her wheelchair and go around buying the food with Agaha. What do we need? Katori looks like she still doesn't agree with the fact that Agaha is with us. She looks at me, like she's trying to put a curse on me. Agaha came to help come up with a menu for tonight's dinner. It seems that the meals that I make don't appeal to the girls. Because you can carry the bags? Tori is doing a good job of carrying the green supermarket basket. Agaha and I keep slinging more and more ingredients into the basket. 
パプリカパウダーホールトマト生ハムそれから掘り込むな、uh, get some mineral water. ねえねえポテチ買っていい ?No Oh パカラメンチップス I remember these ケチあとでお金払うから一緒に入れといて She slings them in Warning death potato Also we'll soon be out of rice Let's buy some while we're here With all of the ingredients for all of the borders, before we knew it, the basket that Katori was carrying was full. As she complained, Katori was very careful not to let the contents of the basket fall out. Don't drop anything. Today's shopping is being paid for with the operating costs of the dormitory, so we can't really buy things we don't need. Having said that, she is helping me out. You can get Bari Bari Kun. Have it your way. I decided to treat her to strawberry Hagen Darch with my own money. Is this one okay? Um, do. So da ne. We finish at the cash register. The food costs about 50% more than usual, but tonight is a special occasion. Aw,、oh, jeez, I forgot to buy ground meat. そんなの使わないよ。It's for tomorrow. It's a pain to have to keep going to buy food all the time, you know. I leave them behind and go back to the store. I search for the meat in the ground meat section. If I can, I want to get one with a discount sticker, as I thought there aren't any at this time. The cost for the boarders' food is paid on a monthly basis. The dormitory is run as kind of a hobby by the owner, so it's just a rough estimate, but there is an upper limit established as part of the rent agreement. The dormitory's meals follow the creed of as cheap as possible, as tasty as possible. I look at the packs of beef that are lined up on the shelf 29.80 yen for 100 grams. This is a supermarket that celebrity women come to. So sometimes the prices for the ingredients are pretty steep. It's okay once in a while, so I'd like everyone to eat this kind of meat. I murmured to myself. A girl reaches across from the side and slings the luxury marble 29.80 yen for 100 grams meat into her basket. ビーフカレーっていうくらいだもんね。The girl who took the pack showed signs of hesitation, but continued to sling more and more of the luxury marble meat into the basket. In the end, she took everything that was on the shelf. これでよしった。Are you going to use luxury marbled beef in a curry? Not only that, it's thinly sliced. What? Ah. I was supposed to have said that on the inside, but because of the shock, I came right out and said it aloud. It. It. t o I mean, if you're making curry, they have meat for curry over here, see? It's a. So now, Kino, I'll eat a little to Kini, me, I guess, you. Well, when you stew meat this size, it becomes more tender and much smaller. If you use that kind of thin meat, the fat will melt away and you won't have a trace of it left. What? Wait. 
In her basket was about a kilogram of marbled meat to be used in sukiyaki. Are you going to stew all of that in a curry? What a waste of good meat. As I stare at the basket, she looks at me in disbelief. She seemed embarrassed as she said that and moved over to the fresh fish section. Did I scare her off? She said as I watched from a distance her throwing sea bream, with the head and tail still on, into the basket, while I reached for a pack of the cheap pork and beef ground meat. ハバネさんストロベリー派なんだ。私はクッキーアンドクリームかな。へえ、そう。美味しい。もちろんよ。ねえ。いやよ。まだ何も言ってないんだけど。いやよ。スプーン一つしかないんだからいいじゃん女同士なんだからやったらやよケチンボ分かったわよ一口だけよ What are you doing? Yeah. I'd finished paying and had come back and Katori was letting Anne Agaha eat her ice cream. I felt like I'd seen something I wasn't supposed to see. I see. Well, it's nice that you two are getting along. Blustering as she spoke, Katori continued to wolf down the Hargan Darch. Okay, let's go. Here, take this bag. I push Katori's wheelchair and we leave the shopping mall. Pass that to me. I'll show you how it's done. Her face seemed to say, I get annoyed when people get on their high horse as she obediently passed me the knife. In a way that Katori could see easily, I cut the vegetables. Like this. Wouldn't it be best to cut it in half down the middle? We had come back to the dormitory and had begun co cooking in the dining hall. I got Katori, who couldn't reach the stove, to cut the vegetables. I'm cooking, while Agaha helps and tells me how to do it. Hey, this is pretty easy. Said Agaha, who had brought the recipe. Basquet style chicken stew. I couldn't guess what kind of food it would be from just the name, but it is really easy to make. 
First, you grill the chicken thighs, then fry them with the cut vegetables, and after that, add the canned tomato in broth and leave it to stew. It's a stew that doesn't need to be done precisely. That's the main dish. Next, we prepare the salad and the soup. Even as Hat walks around her feet, quacking, Katori doesn't seem to notice as she is quietly immersed in what she's doing. She's really concentrating. Despite complaining at first, once she gets started, she becomes very serious. Well, it doesn't need to be exact. If there's a variety in the thickness, it gives a difference in texture. She said as she thought about this and that, and started intentionally cutting the vegetables unevenly. I guess that's what people look like when they get serious. Agaha, how does this soup taste to you? I'll add salt and pepper. And so, the preparations for dinner continued smoothly. And everyone, I am out of time right now, but everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.